Zoo activities at the Senate was not as complicated as the House of Representatives. A rowdy session still occurred during the close-by-close -close consideration of the Electoral Amendment Bill. The contention began as the lawmakers contested the amendment of Section 52, Subsection 3 of the Electoral Act Amendment Bill, which concerns the electoral transmission of results. But after a while, the senators voted publicly along party lines. And at the end of voting, 28 senators, mostly from the PDP, voted for the original amendment in the report, while 52 senators, mostly from the APC, voted for the amendment as proposed by Senator Shabi Abdullahi. This means the majority of senators voted that INEC may consider electronic transmission provided the national network coverage is adjourned to be adequate and secure by NCC and approved by the National Assembly. Many people suffered from the fact that in filing their pre-election cases, it became time back. So the point is we need to allow this sufficient time. Otherwise, if we do it this way, it means... So this is the point. This is why this data is not allowed. Those in favor that clause 52.3 as amended stands part of the bill say aye, aye. those against any aye. the ayes have it further amendment that the commission may transmit may may at the discretion of the commission may not shall that the commission may transmit the, the result by electronic means where and when practicable. Yes, practicable. Reading through this act, you can see that a lot of our fears have been taken care of. So please let us, yes. What we have voted for and is included in this report now is the amendment sought by Senator Sabi Abdullahi. The, there is an, an existing amendment request that, no, we should retain what is there. Now we did with 180 and 120. So if you think we should retain what is here, you will vote yes. If you think what we have passed before, the amendment of Senator Sabi, then you vote against this one. Well, Chairman of the Senate Committee on Media and Public Affairs, Ajibo Labashiro, joins us now for more on this. Uh, Senator, thank you for joining us on TVC News at 7. Help us clarify what exactly the Senators voted for during plenary. Okay, your reporter for reporting accurately and uh, concisely what uh, was agreed upon. Uh, and I want to say that uh, uh, people try to politicize decisions that are being made that are uh, plenary. People have started saying senators from the APC voted against electronic transmission. Far from it, the issue has to do with appropriate wordings and provision for section 52, subsection 3 of the bill. Afraid uh, there's some uh, network issue that from your end, and so and it's it cutting off yeah. some of your words. So if you could please um, try respond to that question again, so we could get the full picture you're painting about what lawmakers actually voted for in the red chamber earlier today. Yeah, what we voted for was that electronic transmission of results can be carried out. Presentation by the NCC, Nigeria Communication Commission, as to the security and coverage of network across the country. And, and this has to be approved by the National Assembly. So what we agree is that in principle, there can be transmission of election results electronically, but there must be empirical facts by NCC certify as to security and 
coverage of, of I mean, the net to work. Uh, all right, Senator Bashir, uh, let's look at it from another angle. Uh, this decision, this vote that uh, the senators have voted today, would did not uh, erode the independence of INEC as an electoral umpire in Nigeria? For to be able to support the I'm afraid we may not be able to continue that conversation. We'll try if we can reconnect with Senator Bashiru to actually get a, a better glimpse of what transpired. Thank you very much, Senator Ajibola Bashiru, spokesman of the Nigerian Senate, for joining us on TVC News at 7.